Hi guys, no man Dick here, and I'm about to do a live commentary for a Total War Sugar 2 Fall of a Simmer uh, game, <laughs> online game. But first, I wanted to say something about uh, an issue that I recently heard of, and it was I can't remember if it was the Air of Carthage or Lion Art, Art, <laughs> sorry, or some other big important commentator. Same is he was talking about the difference between black bear and white bear. Now, as everybody knows, and if you don't know, you can see from stats, the difference is that the black bear got inferior melee attack and melee defense by one point each, but they got five extra reload and accuracy. And so many people, uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> that commentator say, said, well, I prefer white bear because I can get some, uh, I can level up my white bear, get the same values as the black bear, and I can get, I get better melee stats and unfortunately I have to disagree with him first because yes you can upgrade white bear but to get 45 reload and 50 starting from 40 and 45 uh, reload and accuracy sorry you have to spend two skill points which means you have to level up twice you have to spend uh, your units Cost is gonna increase by I believe uh, I, I don't remember if 80 or 100 coq and you would have basically wasted two out of nine upgrades because you can get up to nine chevrons and each chevrons is an experience point it's, it's a skill point while by getting the black bear you pay only 50 more and you have your full array of nine chevrons and nine skill points available Yes, you get inferior melee stats, that's true, but let's face it, melee infantry sucks, uh, sorry, <laughs> lion infantry sucks in a melee, anyway. Because, uh, let's take the red bear, which is your strongest lion infantry in melee. We got 8 attack and 6 defense. As you can see, it's the strongest. I mean, at least from the ones I am unlocked, anyway. Uh, from a bear infantry, let's see. But let's get, uh, let's get a half hand, well, let's get this Yari Kaki. As you can see, we got 10 melee attack, 10 defense, oh, and and five like five armor, which is three extra armor, two extra melee attack, and four extra melee defense. And it's and this is uh, this is compared to the strongest line infantry, which is right there. You can take a spear levy, yeah, but don't fight as well as the as the black bear, but they have better defense. They have four less points in attack, but they got melee defense, they got their uh, spears. The, well, they don't get 15 of charge, charge, bonus of charge bonus, of course. But these guys get only 10. So we may say that they kinda. They can be considered better. If you get a katana unit or whatever, well, that's, no, that's really no comparison. So uh, I don't think it's really. It's really, you know. I really prefer the Black Bear infantry. Because we shoot better, uh, my style of play is based on shooting. I don't use melee infantry, and I don't think you should really choose the white bear above the black bear just because they cost 50 less and they got better melee stats. It doesn't make any sense. If you want melee infantry, you would use melee infantry, but you're using line infantry, and so you should go for a better shot. Now that said, now we're gonna play the battle. Okay, guys, here we are. As you can see, I got red bear infantry. Are these guys here? Pretty cool. I got three units of these guys, then I got one unit of the line infantry. Oh, this is the that's on basic map, by the way. I'm oh, sorry, not line infantry, spear levy. I got these guys because they're cheap. I had 400 cookie to spend, and I don't know what to spend them on. And they connect as a sort of bodyguard for my general in case cavalry comes too close. I also got a couple of units of lancers. Uh, sorry, Yariki. <laughs> lancers is the name I gave him. They are my veterans, my first and second lancers, and basically your Yeri Cab, just a little bit weaker. And of course you got my journal and that's everything. My opponent was called, the name was similar to Machu Picchu, uh, which is an Aztec um, city, which was an Aztec city, well it's still, it's still in his feet, but fate, <laughs> well whatever. And uh, he is the rank uh, zero, he has no rank. And I don't know if he's a, if he's a Shogun 2 veteran who just came to full of the Samurai or completely new, I have no idea. 
Well, he's ready, so let's go. Let's check his army. Oh, we got three archers. Sort of a lag. Oh, we got a... Is it a Shogun 2 army? Yeah, it's a Shogun 2 army. We got a Shogun 2 army. We got three units of... You got both Samurai, both Samurai, both Shigeru. A uh, couple of units of Yoriya Shigeru. Long swords, long swords, long swords, and like, yeah. Pretty nice. I already fought a uh, Shogun 2 army before. One of my first, I think my second, no, my first battle actually was against a, uh, a, a Shogun 2 army. It wasn't bad. But I think the Shogun 2 army is gonna pretty big disadvantage uh, when, it when it comes to this game. Uh, they basically like morale. And especially these guys, I mean, they, but with Shigeru, they are gonna have low morale. Yeah, she are gonna have very low morale. Yeah, all these army, in fact, they got a pretty low morale. And against all these guns, I don't think they're gonna fare too well. I ordered my men to move forward a little bit, but uh, I think I'll need to have to move more. Uh, because. Sorry, I have to remember which cavalry I'm moving. Uh, because, uh, you know, it's not gonna move. It's pretty clear, but he has no intention of moving whatsoever. Uh, can I see his unit stats? No, I can't. He's moving his cavalry uh, on the left, but which is his right actually, but it's my left. It's like yeah. He's gonna move his guy. Probably wants to capture this uh, this building, this war dojo. But I'm gonna have my flank protected by my own cav, so I'm gonna get my man run, which is not exactly a good idea. Okay, let's switch to walking. There's really no reason to run. Yeah, my man already winded, which is a bad thing. Uh, his archers got the advantage of range. Uh, these guys go up to 150. I got to 125, so we'll have to move, you know, uh, pretty, pretty close to him in order to do anything. That's a little like cat here, in fact. I will have to move uh, pretty close. Okay, we're gonna get the flanks protected. They're moving a tower back. Oh no, we're not. Okay, we're gonna move forward. Now we should be into range. Yes, we're gonna be into range pretty soon. Let's attack his cavalry. Okay, now we're firing. Is there just a really close formation actually? Which is pretty weird. These guys are not firing. Which is a thing that I personally hate. But these guys don't fire. Still doing some decent damage, but why are we not firing? Anyway, here I got his cab. It's getting completely destroyed. He's gonna fire or what? Yes. Now they're gonna fire. He had to change formation depth. I don't know why. Yeah. My, this guy's already wavering. Which is pretty bad. Uh, Okay, 74 million infantry, which is pretty bad. Let's send for my million infantry. This cab is resistant. Okay. Let's move our cavalry back. Let's try to focus a little bit. Let's move our general back first. Basically, my Kiev, I'm gonna throw them in the middle of this whole thing. And yeah, it's basically, he's not even attacking my line infantry, which is on the side. Which is pretty stupid. Let's move 
recover it back before. Oh, I guess I'm some caviar. I guess some Yarish here, but we're gonna get destroyed. Let's just send in the cap. Sorry guys, small interruption. Well, basically the battle is over. You see my men swarming all over the place. Oh so general, cool. Unfortunately it's not gonna survive long. And that should be the end of it. I don't think. It's tough. Let's type good game to my opponent. Just in time. Your men have killed their general, sir. Yeah, it wasn't an easy battle when I saw all the melee infantry coming at me. Luckily those guys were just unupgraded Ashigaru, so the morale was crap. And my opponent didn't play it exactly well because he didn't, you know. It basically it just charged in the middle with everything and when I shifted, shifted the units at my wings to fire into the melee, it didn't react. So it was pretty slow and well I still had my cavalry so even if he, if he actually engaged properly I would have still got a, a charge from behind etc. Yeah, that's a problem with, uh, with Shogun 2 armies. In this game, uh, I don't know about veteran armies, I didn't I didn't play against one of those yet. Maybe those are extremely powerful. And in fact, I heard that if there are some strategies to defeat um, for the same armies, for example, your cavalry is going to be better if you play a Shogun 2 army, uh, your melee lift is going to be better, and uh, you're going to get good archers, pretty good archers, uh, especially the, the Samurai, the Warrior Monk, etc. etc. Uh, so uh, maybe you can actually outplay your opponent. Cavalry is pretty powerful in this game, so if you can win the cavalry fight, you're gonna be pretty, pretty good. But generally speaking, uh, low-level armies, especially Ashigaru army, are <laughs> just gonna get completely destroyed by by the firepower of all the Samurai units. But still, it was a pretty good battle, in my opinion. Uh, even if my opponent didn't, ex well, probably because my opponent didn't exactly play. Uh, very strategically, it was kind of sort of an historical, dramatic battle. You know, you, you got these these guys with swords and spears running towards the guys with rifles, which are firing at them. Uh, it was pretty heroic. Uh, this is my general in his victory pose, which it looks like some sort of hybrid between uh, Miyamoto Musashi and Benito Mussolini. But still. I got this province uh, with useless retainer because I don't play naval battles. I think I only got like two retainers for melee, for land battles, and one of those, uh, one of those is for uh, for melee infantry, which I almost don't use besides a single unit. So I think they got some veterans. Yeah, and I'm gonna call them first elite. And uh, yeah, these guys. Let's check the unit stats. These are the black bears. We got we got more than 1,200 XP. Well, the worst unit was my general, followed by this PL levy. Oh no, sorry, followed by this lance protector. And this unit. Let's see how many kills this guy's got. Well, this guy's more than 140 kills. And this better unit got uh, looks like 138, which for sword his unit charging rifles is not bad. <laughs> anyway. Good game to my opponent again, and thank you for watching. Ciao, ragazzi!